Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a live stream of uh, Horizon Forbidden West. We're back. Um, progressed a little bit. Trying to uh, keep going on the story mode. Uh, I'd like to definitely beat this game on my own before uh, I do New Game Plus. So it should be pretty fun. Let's see. So we got to go to uh, Plain Song. And then the other mission is getting the core, but... Um, you know, I'm just, I'm not sure if we should go there first. <laughs> Yo, man. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I actually didn't play it for like three or four days because uh, I was busy playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, let me know. Do you guys want me to leave the frame, frame view thing on the top right or the MSI OSD? The MSI OSD is, is like really, it's like blocking a one quarter of the screen. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. I'd rather turn it off, but... If you guys want me to keep it on, just uh, that's fine. Uh, let me just show you the settings real quick. Playing and everything maxed out with uh, DLAA, so native resolution with uh, deep learning anti-aliasing, so no upscaling with frame gen on and everything maxed out. You know, so yeah, I agree. For this game, it definitely is too cluttered, so I'm going to turn it off. You can see the frame view. I can see it in OBS, so it should be pretty visible. Uh... Just one second. Oh, shoot. It's one of them big ones. Let me... Um, shoot, hold on one second. I'm going to get my iPad real quick to view the stream. Just hold on one second. I'll be right back. fight this thing I don't know if I need uh, to add the life um, cheat because I don't want to get wrecked uh, while just literally starting this yeah now it's good you can see the frame view on the on the top right right hopefully so um, let me just pull up the stream on my iPad. Just hold on. Whoa, I'm getting like delivery. Look at this. I'll take that. Metal shards. I'll take that. There we go. Sweet. Looks perfect. Looks buttery smooth. And you can see the frame view on the top right the FPS, GPU usage, CPU usage, and the system latency. Which is nice. Okay, so we got to be careful here. I might need to use the life hack thing because those things are hella powerful. I'm going to get destroyed if I try to fight both of them. I think there's a third one up there too. Let's see. Chain reaction. Oh, it's detachable. Oh, I see. That was dope. God, there's three of them. Yeah, I need the life pack. I'm not gonna die. See, that would have been insta death, I think. <laughs> Just shock him up. Oh, I like the spear thing. Oh. Spear did in the ass.
Oh, and I got a snow arrow too. Dude, I missed both of them. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. The combat is interesting in this. It's not great, but it's somewhat interesting. I've been, by the way, I've been playing a new game plus on uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I never played that game before, so I finally, you know, I had the complete edition whenever it came out for PC, but I never bothered to play it. So I downloaded a complete save with uh, uh, New Game Plus with all the stuff unlocked. It's pretty dope. All right, let me turn that off. Sorry, I just... There we go. Yeah, I've been, as I said before, I've been uh, playing... What do you call? Um, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 so much, like I didn't play anything else. Like, I finally got all the mods, like, honed in. There's still a couple of mods that don't w work that perfectly well, but they're still, you know, they work for the most part, which is nice. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. We collected everything, right? Whoa, look at that. There's a bunch of wood. I could use that, uh charger thing to go fast well let me s let me do one more of these uh, potions uh, I didn't really no as I said I just started playing it I played only like 20 maybe 30 minutes of the game so I, I haven't you know I haven't gotten into zero dawn yet but I will play that I don't know if I'll stream it but maybe I'll play it sometime um, but I wanted to beat this game first. Like, it's pretty interesting. One, you know, just playing along with the story mode. Dude, look at this. I'm collecting these, uh... Have hella medicinal herbs. Whoa, wait. This is a dead end. Oh my god, it's like a... Robocroc. Eh... Hold on a minute. Okay, there is a road there. I was like, something ain't right. <laughs> I don't think I'll be swimming down there anytime soon. Yeah, whatever update they did, I think uh, the latest update uses uh, the driver. Uh, the latest NVIDIA driver uses uh, rebar for this game, so it's way smoother. Remember last time I streamed, it was kind of stuttery. It pissed me off. Like, I had the same settings. D this is with DLAA, so it's native resolution. Um, with everything cranked up and frame gen. So we're at over 120 FPS, which is dope. But um, I remember last time, in certain areas, it was dipping to, like, the 70s and stuff. It was really not a smooth experience at all. Dude, I love the lighting. This is so good. This is without ray tracing, too. That's what's amazing, man. Imagine if they added ray tracing to the game. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's call the uh, the mount. Hey. Looks like an atomic shrine. Don't know what it's for. Where? Where was that? Oh, that thing. There's the croc. Hmm, they didn't notice me. Good. She needs to take a bath. Oh, I see. 
All right, let's go. Yeah, but I think they have to apply it like per game, right? It's not like I have it applied, um, you know, I mean, it's like at the driver level, but it doesn't work properly for all games. So it's just, I think it kind of depends. Whoa. God, there's two of them. Still alive, street rat. Yeah, we'd be. That was. That was ponage. Say cheese, punk. Ah. Well, he died quickly. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I've heard. I mean, I can use Inspector, but I've never really, like, I mean, after uh, I stopped using SLI, I basically stopped using, um, what do you call, um, in NVIDIA Inspector. I used to play around with it all the time back in the day. <laughs> Let me fill up the nice... Oh, yeah. Well, I don't care about them rocks, but... Dude, where are the other guys? What the hell? Is my charger dead? Oh, no. Dude, they killed my charger? No way. Oh, that is horseshit, man. What is this? Sky Drifter Campfire. Let's go to the campfire real quick. <laughs> I'll take that. Let's say that. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. Who is that? Oh, that's way down there. Oh, it's all blighted out. Oh, shoot. There is a... Looks like a Triceratops. System latency sh is like almost look at that 50 milliseconds, but it seems feels buttery smooth. 
Dude, that thing's not even taking notice. Should I wreck him? Look at that. What is this? Oh, okay, so... Interesting. Okay, let's go to Plain Song. It looks like there it is. Oh. Yeah, it's native DLA. Mm-hmm. With everything maxed out. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're uh, like a farm animal. Okay, we gotta find the entrance here. Oh, that's one way to enter. There's more, Hanzo. Shit. Workbench. Oh, there's uh, I always like to pick up these side missions first, and that way we can attend to it later. A word of warning. Avoid the ruins northwest of Plainsong. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. Yes, Dark Throne, that's correct. DLAA. Enable DLSS off. What is this? Uh, treasures await. Well, we'll do that later. Something lighting up the ruins. Yeah, I can show you the settings real quick. So, 4K. Obviously on the Alienware, 4K OLED, 240Hz. So DLAA with frame gen, everything maxed out. I wish they did HBAO ambient occlusion, to be honest, but it is what it is. It looks phenomenal, um, so I have no complaints. I mean, just they're like just singing and dancing. Okay, let's oh, let's save it first. Always save. <laughs> I'm here, as promised, but singing. Man, do you guys think, what do you Does guys think of the idea, ready? like Red Dead Redemption 3 taking place a few centuries before in America from Red Dead Redemption 2? So like, during the, basically the, the, uh, the, the settlers time, you know, and you can play as both, maybe like have two protagonists, one as like a settler and one as like Native American. And then team up and create like a story within that. That would be dope, dude. I would love a game like that with all the cool mechanics and the beauty that Rockstar does with the world. Like, I would buy that as an instant buy. <laughs> ah, shit. Here we go with this loquacious gaming. I get that the cave is sacred. I get, I, I get it that she likes to talk, but god damn. Like shut up, B H. The was already there. Many in the tribe and. The lighting the is just really. I'm. I'm astounded. It's so good without ray tracing. Like r I've been sold on ray tracing, dude. Like now that we see Cyberpunk uh, with, you know, path tracing and Alan Wake and all that, it looks unbelievable. I mean, this obviously you can tell like ray tracing is still better, but. The performance is so good in this game, and the lighting is great, so it's amazing. All right, let's see. Yeah, how did Varl help? He just you said doesn't you do shit. The the chorus without him. What did you do? <laughs> Some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. Yeah, sure. But they believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it is the lip syncing looks pretty charge. good, but it's not perfect, man. Away. One of the best games for lip syncing is L.A. Noir by again Rockstar, and I forget when that game came out. It was like it's over ten years old, and the lip syncing in that was unbelievably phenomenal. Like no other game came close. Even now, most games can't get it right. Times with the matriarchs, and even if I'm other, answer twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. All right. 
The sacred cave. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement. Look at the skin Once textures year, too. It looks pretty good. What other game had really good cave. skin textures? I think uh, Alan Wake. First, um then Ray. Oh, interesting. I haven't played that game. Somebody else on the stream, I think a maybe a few streams ago, who was saying they played that game and it was pretty cool. And then there's that Avatar game, which I haven't played either. Is that any good? I don't know. It seems too much like a kid's game, to be honest. Oh, really? That's cool. Oh, that's right. You said you're from Brazil. That's awesome, man. <laughs> One of my favorite games is Max Payne 3. The they the speak uh, Portuguese in that. Uh, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> they need to make Max Payne 4, Manhunt 3, Red Dead 3. Rockstar are a bunch of lazy bastards. Yeah, like you can see the lighting fall on her skin. It's. Like it. it looks really high quality. It's, it's pretty insane. Her ro God. like she has rosy cheeks. And go and it's on the face, I mean. <laughs> all right, all right. The chorus. So the chorus is assembled. What now? They're oh shoot! Did I pick the right choice? I'm not then sure. Shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. <laughs> really? Don't worry. Like, is it seriously that dangerous? I mean, every country has dangerous areas, but yeah, there's some hardcore shit in Max Payne 3, man. I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. The other game I'm waiting for. Oh, I uh, did I tell you I pre-ordered uh, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, so I can't wait for that, dude. Same company, Nixus, I think, is making the port, so it should be incredible. Um, the other game I'm waiting for is a God of War Valhalla, or what is it called? Not Valhalla, Ragnarok. Wait, okay, I think I just messed up. I picked. Oh my God, See, this is a problem. I wasn't even paying attention to what choice I made. Crap, dude, look at that, man. Oh, that looks so good, dude. That is unbelievable. Look at the God rays, like the mist on the mountains. What the fuck? Did you see that? <laughs> Dude, did you see that? There was a guy who just fell from the sky. That was hilarious. Talk about ruining uh, the scenery. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, dude. Alright, let's... uh, Unknown campfire. Well, yeah, I'll save it. Why not? So there was something unknown here. Oh, okay, is there a workbench? Oh, all that stuff's here. Nice. Oh, sweet, the stash. I don't really have anything to pick up here, though. Yeah, frost bombs are dope. Tear shredders. After three... Wait. Huh. What is this? Oh, machine strike. Alright. Let's see. Where's the workbench? Dude. Okay, let's go up here and see. Just to make sure we don't miss anything. Ah, there it is. To sell loot and buy new equipment. Yeah, I'm down with that. Hello. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion. And the one who's got this place in an uproar. <laughs> yep. So tomorrow's doing in plain song. Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by. It's just northwest of here. And a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. 
Okay. Damn, I haven't even done the hunting grounds for the first one yet. Or did I? I think I might have. I prefer the sound of machines to singing. As soon as Wait a minute. I get my supplies on heading Oh wait, I need to yeah, let's how do you sell junk? Hunting grounds. Damn it, dude. Oh, whisper hunter bow. Is there a way to sell all junk? Well, that's lame. All right, let's see if we can. Ooh, weapon upgrade. What is this? Oh yeah. Oh, that's for those uh, flying the bird enemies. All right, sweet. Okay, now let's go to. Oh. Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. Children. Oh, there's a. Let's see if we can apply a die here. I've never tried that yet. How do you do that? Um. Outfits. Oh shit, you can buy more stuff? Ooh, that's dope. I'm gonna buy that one. And let's equip it. Why the hell not? Oh, I need to upgrade it too. Shite. What is this? Oh, silver ingot. Uh, hold on a minute. I can silent okay. That's fine. Yeah. Oh she looks that's hot. <laughs> Reminds me of mother's heart back in the Um Let me upgrade the bow real quick before I come back to the mission. Where's the bow at? Oh, there it is. Or, I mean, the outfit. Yeah, that's what I meant. I thought you could apply dyes to the outfits. Is that not correct? I know. Looks like he's made of, like, trees and shit. Alright. Now... Let's see, I have to go to inventory. The weave. Increases defense against shock. Defense against fire. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. That's dope. Hell, yeah. Wait, how many... I can't see how many points I have. Yo, what's up, man? Long time no see. <laughs> Hope you're well. Let's see. Trapper. Survivor. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Hunter again.
Oh, it looks like I have only one point. Sometime, don't they? So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. Yeah, yeah, man. Pretty good. People just uh, kind of bored of most the of the games. This thing came out recently, so I've been playing it. it be Got back into modding play. Red Dead Redemption 2, so I've been playing that I'm as well. But yeah, I'm kind of like basically. Of course not. I tried streaming so uh, GTA yesterday. I got a hell of bored in like 15 minutes. I stopped it. It was kind of dumb, but um, I just got a hell of bored of the game. Oh shoot, should we go? Uh yeah, let's go. Alright, let's go talk to them. These guys need a wardrobe upgrade. Any rumors on when the next uh, GTA 6 trailer is going to drop? Like, there's just so much misinformation out there about that. It's such bullshit clickbait all the time. I hate, like, if I see any video that says GTA 6, I X that shit out hella fast. I don't want to watch. I need. If I can get it, it so, will and the Nora have spread word of your story and what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits. Wait, will that not help late? Us. No way, Nothing dude. Will. Aren't they saying it's supposed we to be released weaken. like next spring? We die. The game, like and become fertile it's fiscal twenty five, which starts in April. This actually no. Um order. No, it's not fiscal twenty five. It's it's the year twenty twenty five, but sit around? Until you become food for worms. Fiscal 25 Literally? already started this month, but um, dude, what so the hell? Did you guys see that flash? I wonder what that is. Of our hmm. Please. I was hoping the next trailer away. would come out like in the Listen summer. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions. Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders? Yeah, that's what I was so? thinking. No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors. But our children. to be honest, though, like, remember what they did with Red Dead Redemption 2? I and think the first trailer outlet. came out in, in, like, the fall of 2016, and they said Nonsense. spring 2017 is when the game's going to come out. Seed. And we know that didn't that happen. In the infinite cycle. It was delayed like over a year. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Uh oh. What is this? The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. Time for permission is over. Yeah, man. I would I would hate it if they delayed it like another year. People are so sick of waiting, like whoa. 
That was dope. This way. Out the gate and around. Is Varl coming? Fighting in the fields ahead. Whoa. These machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. Killers. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend points. We have to move. He's ditching everybody. on your way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, what the hell? That thing is so weak. Oh my god. up all this stuff real quick. What the hell? Well, there were some more of those uh, things that could explode. Machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. Uh oh. It was more than just a miracle when the missing land got in that cave. Do we not have to fight him? Seems a little sketch. That thing's dope, man. Yeah, I'll probably like most likely get the PS5 Pro for GTA 6. Okay, let's put some uh, vertical traps. Well, that was dumb. Whoa! Oh my god, I missed again, dude. Look at this.
getting my ass beat. Dude. God. Oh, maybe I should do the shock ones. What about these guys? Cut him up. the spear forgot about this get him yeah that actually does some damage good lord man that was painful oh i hear him Sure, collect all the Whoa. Damn it, I should have picked that up before. So just leave that gun. Oh wait, I need to craft some more potions here. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened with the building? We better be ready for anything. Oh. That was dumb. I 
I love the whole like the uh, day night cycle here. At first it was like mostly daytime, but even at night it looks so beautiful. So many they will be moved when the time is right. Let me collect the shards here. We must keep going. Into the pit. That wasn't very smart. Move. Damn. I look more stashes. Nice. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's dope, dude. Let's see if I can... Can I do that now? Adhesive ammo. Purge wa water trap. Nice. Okay, here we go. Down to a drizzle. Almost over. May the land gods forgive our trespass. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of light. The hell? We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow you. She okay. Oh, I was <laughs> on a side no oh look, there's some stuff up there. Can I jump up there? No. I was watching this clip uh, last night from The Wire. <laughs> you guys remember that show? I haven't seen the full one, but... Up here. <laughs> Clay Davis. It's funniest shit I've ever seen in a while, man. She, boy, I was going easy on you. <laughs> the way he said... I think the meme came from that. Dude, that light looks dope. Azure Bloom. Yeah, that's how you do it. Hey, Don't jump over me, bitch. Hmm. Damn, I need more herbs. No room. What is this? Oh, yeah. I Oh, I don't need the cleansing potion now. Oh crap, I better be careful. Okay, we just came around the... Let's go that away. way Uh-oh. That door looks ominous. Yeah, man, I'm... I mean... Probably sound blasphemous, but I like Vice City was my least favorite GTA, so I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna Stay knock on the cauldron door. knock on GTA 6 before it even comes out, but it's just like I wish they picked another city, like somewhere new. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. Oh shit! We can go to the cauldron. Here we go. To understand what's going on in there. You know what? Some of these like metal finishes uh, remind me of Crisis Three in certain levels with the like honeycomb structure of like the armor and stuff. It was dope. In the temple, just like this. Machines we've been fighting are different, more dangerous. That means there's something very powerful 
somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Uh oh. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. Hmm, sounds like a boss fight. Crap, I haven't saved the game yet. No. Dude, there should be a save point here. Find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Yeah, this is straight up like crisis status. Like the last anymore. level. Yo, man. Oh, shoot. an onion. Oh my god, dude. I almost died. Yeah. We be wrecking. So this is a cauldron. For machines of war. It looks like one, but... If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. Let's go up here. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, hmm. How the hell did he climb? Oh, okay. He was just able to jump. Ow. Yep, that ain't it. There it is. Looking for that third guy. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. That looks sick, man. It's also kind of reminds me of Callisto Protocol. Have you guys played that game? I beat it and then I started playing New Game Plus and then I just abandoned it like halfway through. I got bored of it. First playthrough was dope though, dude. That looks sick. It takes over places like these. Next killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. Hmm. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. Okay. How do I do that? 
Oh, I see. Ah, there you go. How are you doing, sir? This place was meant for the young girls. No Utaro has ever set foot in here. But I had to. You know? Help you an alien to find far. You did the right thing. So, can you stand on that panel? I thought it was Zoe. Like this? Good. Stay there. Oh, missed. I see. You find a way across. Working on it. I need like a crate or something. Might be a way across. I can get them into the right position. Hmm. How do we do this? go oh wait there is a cra uh I know <laughs> it's like the machines are cleaning themselves that would be a good use for AI can't fit the crate through that opening are you kidding me I guess through there Should be exposed now. What gear? Oh, that one. She okay. thing oh I'm a retard well that was oh boy oh okay we gotta shoot that one Shit, Sherlock. Oh, that's, that looks so sick, dude. 
This is so futuristic. Obviously very dystopian, but futuristic nonetheless. Oh, you shit. Shut up. I'm trying to get across, damn it. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor pillar nearby to activate them. I like how she just, like, talks and gives you hints. At least it's helpful for me, like, if I haven't played the game before, so... Get some shrooms. There we go. Nope. I should do it before it. Damn it. Wow, that was a big jump. What is this? Dude, are you kidding me? Why is that not... Shut me right. Oh. Do I have to be on the thing? Oh my god, I almost fell off. Ah, okay, there it is. Yeah, I see it. Damn it. Too slow. Dude, what the hell? I hit that correctly. You're joking, right? There's a third one? Oh my goodness, dude. That is ridiculous. There's no way. Oh yeah, it is. Holy shit. Okay. Now I can go. Get up. That was dope. Got a chest there. Oh, and a key. I wonder where that leads. Whoa. How fast is this case? They're all over that note. Maybe I can override it. Okay. Yeah, maybe the stuff exposed, uh... Aloy, going somewhere? Uh... You idiot. Why on earth did I do that? Seriously. Oh, there's a ledge thing up there. Nice. Oh my god, I almost fucking died there. There you are. Woo, that was crazy. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it.
Uh oh. That sounds scary. Jump, you idiot. Oh my god. I don't know how I survived that one. Okay. Now, how to get up to the node. That was just a cache of some useless things. Hmm. Let's see here. Something's off. Um, hmm. Dude, what the hell? How do I? I don't know if this is the way, but. Are you joking? Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, here we go. Come on over, you two. That's sick. Like a cable bridge. I could glide. Oh, yeah. I could glide down there and probably have to... Cl there we go. Oh, there was a climbing thing there. You see that? Is there a way to, like, freeze the time? Like, snow... Hit it with the, uh... Snow arrow? I doubt it. Clumsy, but uh oh. Uh oh, here. Hit your ride on this thing. <laughs> Oh my god, I might have to jump off. She's in the air. Don't let go, Eloy. Yep, wasn't planning on it. Oh shoot. It's going somewhere else, man. It's over. Time to let go. Another one? I don't know. Activate. Careful, Matrix. 
Oh. Haha, <laughs> that's how you do it. That was dope. No collectibles here. <laughs> here we go. Are they coming through? to do a uh, dude look at that I'm trying to get the god rays there we go that looks dope they did such a good job with the photo mode thing even in zero dawn it works flawlessly Every game should have that, man. Like, Shadow of uh, Mordor, I think, did it first. And then Shadow of War was sick. When you had, like, those combos, mid-combo, you can freeze it and do, like, awesome screenshots and stuff. Eh, that's okay. All right. Here we go. about to crack up. We have to get down there. We gotta repel. Alright. Dude, there's no save point here. That pisses me off, man. There we go. That's one of the coolest mechanics, too. I love that. Alright, it's gonna be one hell of a fight. I might have to do the life hack thing again. In case I get destroyed. All right, here we go. Override that shit. Oh, snap. Finish him. Did it say acid will do it? Oh my god, it's got like dual flamethrowers, dude. That's crazy. Oh, you Maggie. Oh yeah, how's that? Oh, let's do a tear off. like a little target thing on its back. Oh. 
Oh my god, I think that would be insta death. Dude, that did barely any damage, man. Son of a bitch. Oh, he destroyed the pillar. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Dude, that's not detaching anything. I want his flamethrower horns, man. Ah, there we go. Oh, you idiot. Get the... Where's the plow horn? some acid in that thing oh i could do the wait i haven't done the shock arrows yet This guy is not dying, dude. He's been close to dying for so long. That completely missed. Guys, not look at this. He's not dying. There we go. 
You son of a bitch. Man. You're joking, right? It's done. Ooh, that was crazy. Oh. Morning, a machine that nearly killed us. <laughs> it's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Here, let me give you this RTX 4090 Do I still better have machine, and it won't so attack you. For how long? <laughs> can you really heal our lands? Save my people. Damn it, she didn't collect everything yet. Did she or not? Not bad. <laughs> Up we go. All that There's fighting more. and that's her compliment? Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Okay, before we do that, I need to collect everything here. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on you. They look like machines. There must be overrides. Dude, Launch. where did the contain machines? And you can lose? Let's find out. Ooh, I love that slow mo. Let me just craft everything I need. There we go. Alright, now we can get rid of that. Uh, hold on, man. There's... Wait, is that door... Can we open that? before moving on. They might come in handy. Sounds like a plan. There we go. That's fine. Where's that machine? Enough. Oh, there's another chest over there. And Can some shrooms. Once I hack into the core again, yes. Damn it. Hmm. There's some shrooms over there, but I can't find that machine that I was. Alright, enough of that shit. Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah, this level looks so cool. It's really well done. Machines I haven't seen yet. Yes, let's press on. Then. Oh, skill points. All right, let's see. Hmm.
Ooh, that's dope. Definitely want to learn that. Yeah, I think we're out of points. Crit chance. Definitely want that. Um... Draw acid damage. Hmm. Overdraw damage. Eh, all right, we'll just wait for now. Eye of the Earth. Are you kidding me? So we're right there already? That's the main quest. Hmm. Oh, that's obviously. Greetings, graduates of Cradle Nine. Welcome to the regional. Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit, Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Man, look at that lighting on the ground. It looks so sick. Move, you idiot! You f look at the oh, fucking retard, man. It's a maggot. I hate that. I've let's see. Oh, there's stuff up here too. Oh, so better. All personnel must vacate the facility immediately. So, is the what exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. That's dope. It's like alien tech. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay back. What's going on? Whoa. Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Um, yeah. Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Hmm. Elevator shaft? What the hell is that? Oh, okay. a long way up. Okay. I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Locked. Alert. Restricted access. Damn. <laughs> nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. This leads. Oh, nice. I didn't even see the supply what chest. What are those cables in the center for? Minerva's shutting me out. Dude, I wonder if there are real facilities that look like this. You know, that secret military installations that have some advanced tech that we, we won't even know about for like 50 years. Oh look, another one. Huh. Well. What is this? I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Oh. 
We got a crystal there, but before we go up, I want to go through the other one. Yeah, let's check that. <laughs> yeah, who who knows, man? I mean, they had the SR-71 Blackbird in 19... What, 1962, I think, was the first flight? Test flight? Still, like, one of the fastest, uh, allegedly. Oh, shit, okay. So that was just for the chest. Um, yeah, if they... Dude, if they have... I mean, not just airplanes, like, some insane tech. Oh, snap. Whoa. Nice. I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. That is one crazy secret facility, man. I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Dude, what is this? Why did they want it back up? Are you kidding me? She That is so fake and stupid. It's like iced out. You think she's gonna be able to cling on to the edge like that? Oh, okay. Let's get the bloom. Uh, oh. Ooh, that was close. Climb up. What the hell are you doing? Oh shit. Oh, okay. Nice. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, what the? A shortcut? Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But how to reach them? Hmm. This is confusing. Hold on. <laughs> Look at her just enjoying the snowflakes. Damn, that's beautiful, man. All right. What does she mean? What pipes? Oh, right here. I don't think it's yeah. Pinesome. I hope the Otaru are doing okay after the attack. Hmm. Yeah, so it's not here. Whoa, almost oh, right here. Wait, is that a way? Yeah, pry open, there we go. It's like the worst camera angle ever. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Oh crap, it's gonna be a fight here. Oh shit, we're <laughs> literally on top of the console. Oh snap, here we go.
Minerva. I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if Hey man, no, I just um, chewing gum. <laughs> I can't reboot her without. <laughs> Not jeez. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. That's okay. That's yes. Oh, that's what she was supposed Thank to insert. You. Thank you, Minerva. What the hell? I thought she was gonna put that glass sick. thing. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring the nerve function to original code. This looks so good on the OLED, man. It's amazing. Here it goes. Oh, that's the guy from Zero Dawn. And her when she was a kid. <laughs> so it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations. And you can Did make Google use of Gemini generate Gaia? Ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. The hair that physics is good. not. I mean, Shall it looks I good, but to your I don't know if it's like 2024 20, good. You know what I mean? It looks pretty good, but. I um, okay, but don't overwhelm them. Okay, they don't have a lot of experience with things like. Well. <laughs> Get your ass up here. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Laurel, so this is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia still, uh, Waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Hmm? Oh, where they were before? I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center. Where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Hmm. I suggest you explore this facility. Oh, okay. Until then, gotta look around some more. Damn, look at that. That's dope. all this this was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives 
You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Hmm. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. So this was supposed to be the lab. That oh, was look. its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Hmm. What the hell? It's like a triceratops. Oh, that's dope. Well, I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides. But it looks like I need data from more machine parts to fix the rest. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Oh, crap. So we went in there. What about all this? Dude, this is like a gigantic this facility. Space this would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. Hmm. Looks like a dung hole. Oh, that's a shitter. <laughs> hey Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Hmm. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Whoa, what is this? Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... Sabotaged things. Oh Unless shit, it's supposed to be there this we way. go. This is a crazy room, man. Like nuclear fusion. Oh, we're back to where? Okay, I see. All right, let's What's just go to the control for? room. This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Oh, I see. Climbing up there. been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Yeah, I remember there was a mission. Um. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. <laughs> so you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... Strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Oh, yeah. That was when I fought that guy on the right. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The cal 
calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. Damn. What is that, approximately? It's so vast that light itself requires 8.61... Nine light years. Us. Yep, I was almost right. <laughs> Six trillion miles is one light year, so... In kilometers, about okay, so just under nine. What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith... Their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, hmm. I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Hmm. What, is she gonna travel to Ceres to confront them? You're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but... Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Damn. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Luthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Hmm. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the year since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. Come on. So we start there? That's their way of keeping the franchise open so they keep making Hephaestus more games. <laughs> after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge mm. your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. Well, that's bullshit. But in all other respects, it will suffice. So there's another long ass fetch quest. <laughs> the three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. 
Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Hmm. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would Oh shit, it's a massive density. fetch quest then. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program <laughs> new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Hmm. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. Hmm. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. Wait. My god, how many... Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Alright, I'm gonna start skipping through Unlike these. the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet. So, when the time comes to... I do not know. I will attempt to find... A Dude, are you kidding me? So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass produce machines. Yes. And to pro So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any human life. You know what? Uh, the Doom so, yes, storyline was pretty dope, especially Doom Eternal. Of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, I must admit, however, that I, no matter how aggressive the, that's good. Indeed. Hmm. Finally, good lord. Oh my goodness, dude. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy. We're gonna take another hour just to get through this cutscene. Why would descendants of far zenith want to do that? 
this point, we can only speculate. We pose no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? Yeah, that's The strangers cheesy. I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia <laughs> and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then attend to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing. But with opposite result. Extinction. Instead of some... You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So... How would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Ceres would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship hmm. departed Ceres at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. 186,000 miles per second. Yeah. Speed limit of the universe. Alright, clone. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proven Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, hmm. and carried aboard the ship in storage. <laughs> Jeez. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This was cloned. How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Or perhaps she is Elizabeth Sobek? A sub the extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The s were its intentions less. I would admire the intellect. Hmm. So if the descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? <laughs> yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counter. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it, no shielding could withstand. So there's hope. Always. All right, here we go. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew it have to up? go and come because back? The sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Oh Correct. shit. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting. After a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, 
halved gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. <sighs> All right, biosphere. I'm what just gonna. What is the state of the biosphere? Oh my God! Is the terraforming even... system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessors' a nuke. is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Finally. Oh my god, another one. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain few months more. Well, every bit counts. Okay. Let's I get her done. We get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore, might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data, but they seem to have a significant... Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon? Poseidon has taken shelter in the... My substratal geography... Hmm, so this map is way bigger than I thought. Interesting. Settlement ...called Las Vegas was located there. <laughs> ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. It appears to be located on... Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any... As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. So, three subordinate functions to go after. Ether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert. And Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Oh, shit. Oh my god, I... Dude, I'm like level 15 or something. I guess we'll go I with think Aether. I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. Come on, I could have done that myself. I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of... Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... The desert, yep. A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. 
Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her un In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my... Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Hmm. Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Hmm. That's nice. Wait, what the hell? Oh. Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor hmm. the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could... Hmm. Use it to reconnect them and restore the display. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Hmm. Which way to go? Not sure. Um, I guess we can go west. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wow, look at that. I need to head further west. To um, get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. <laughs> when will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in plain song we heard how the Tanakh They need to make a new Tomb Raider storms, game, man. It's been too long since God. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That was a fun game, and I rem really remember when the 3090 SLI worked perfectly with DX12 AFR on that. It was dope. Man, that looks so good. The graphics are unbelievable here. Oh, okay. I see. Damn, that's far, man. There's a lot of unknowns here, too. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the base. I wonder if you can fast travel. 
Probably. Somewhere out oh, there's wait. three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Oh, I see. Demeter, we're going to get Aether. Actually, I'm going to jump off and glide down. against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanaka. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Hmm. Well then. I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be wary. Appreciate the warning. Damn, level 22, huh? Ground made of metal? Save it. The alert. Sweet. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop it here. I've been streaming for two hours. I might do Red Dead later. I feel like playing that again. <laughs> so, um, uh, I've been playing Red Dead like pretty much most of the time. So, this was fun. I'll stream it again, but I'm gonna take a break. Um, I'll be back probably in a couple of hours. I'm not sure. Uh, or I might be back sooner. But um, I'm going to get some food and uh, I'll be I'll definitely be streaming more tonight. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.